the solving problem on development of a cone so here a cone of base diameter 60 and height 70 so cone cone means it's a curved shaped structure solid so here base is a circle it has an apex also resting on its base on the ground base on the ground so base is circular shape this is resting on the ground this cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and parallel to the next V perpendicular to VP and parallel to the next V perpendicular to VP and parallel to the next V so listen like this so, this. so now in this orientation this plane is perpendicular to the vertical plane so front view is a straight line isn't it and parallel having equal distance from the horizontal plane parallel to the HP all are from equal distance from the horizontal plane parallel to HP it is going to cut the solid at 20 mm from the vertex so this is the top point is a vertex point and 20 mm down 20 mm from the vertex it is going to cut the solid okay It is also cut by a plane perpendicular to the VP and inclined at 40 degree to the base. And another one section is there and it is going to cut another, another plane also. Okay, it is going to cut. So this plane is um, somewhat inclined to the HP. Okay, it is going to cut the solid perpendicular to VP but it is inclined to the HP, horizontal plane having some inclination, 40 degree and meeting the axis 20 mm above the base, 20 mm above the base is going to meet the axis. So here two sections are there, so we have to do the development of the base, so how to solve this problem. Okay here in this, first we have to draw the protection of solid, so here the, this is the location, so top view is a circle right. So top is a circle, front view is a triangle. Okay, front view is a, looks like a triangle. So we project the top view towards the front view. Then this is the height of the, what is the height of the cone is 70 millimeter. So I mark the height also. Okay, here we mark the dimensions. So the height of the solid is 70. This is the original front view and top view, but in order to mark the section points, we need extra edges. So we need some that we create certain imaginary edges on the side on the circumference of the cone. Okay, so we have to mark some edges, imaginary edges. That edges are called generators. Okay, that edges are called generators. Generators generators because we are generating the conical surface so generators so we have to generate some edges then only we can able to mark the 
cutting edges in a regular continuous way. So for that what we have to do is we divide the circumference into 12 segments. Okay, divide the circumference into 12 segments. For that what we have to do is first draw one horizontal line through the center. Okay, draw one horizontal line through the center and then draw one vertical line through the center. Then take the compass and measure the radius in the compass. Take the radius in the compass. Okay. Radius in the compass. Then we have four points, right? One, two, three. Four. So first time keep the center in the first point and mark on either side. Okay. So I get two points here. Then keep the center in another point and mark cut an arc on either side. Then here, Now I divide everything into 12 segments and I draw the edges through the center. Then let us mark the points from here. So this is I mark as A, B, C, D, so I marked all the points. So the center point is O, like this O. Then we have to project everything towards up. Then this point is up. So here it is A less B less Okay, how many points we have means we have 12 points. 12 points. So start from O dash. Then first edge is OA. Then here we have L and B, right? So we have two points here, L and B. L is a hidden and B is visible. So this is the front view, right? So we have to look from the top. So from here A, B, C, D, E, F, G are visible. 
remaining edge, the remaining parallel points are hidden edges. So I mark A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, and G dash as hidden. Then once again hidden points H, I, J, K, and the other. So I mark all the hidden points also. Then we write the edges. So now front view and top view over. Okay, front view and top view over. Then mark the section edges. Section edges we have two section lines. Okay, one section line is parallel to the HP and 20 millimeter from the vertex. Parallel to and 20 millimeter from the vertex. So here it is the here this is the axis line, right? So this is the axis line. As there is no edges on the cone, we have to mark the axis line when we are representing the front view. So from the axis, 20 mm below the base. Okay, 20 mm below the base. So you measure 20 mm below the base and mark one point. Then this distance is 20 mm. 20 mm below the base. Here one section cup. Okay, one section. Parallel to the XY. It is brown line parallel to the XY. And then another section line is inclined at 40 degree to the base and meeting the axis at a point 20 millimeter above the base. 20 millimeter above the base. Likewise, from above the base also 20 millimeter mark the point. So this distance is 20 millimeter above the base. The line. Then what's the angle here? It makes is 40 degree to the base. It makes 40 degree to the base. 40 degree. I must have 10, 20 about 40 degree to the base. Then mark the section edge. This also vertical trace. This also vertical trace. Okay. So here then, what angle it makes is it makes forty degrees. Forty degrees. Then section points. As it is cutting parallel to the x y line, no need of marking section line over here. So here also, in this line, I am going to mark the section point. It is. Cut here, second point, third point, four, five, six. So in six places, six places, section happens. So this place means it is cutting on the base, base side. It is cutting on the base side. So these remaining are face edges, face gen generators, cutting on generators. So here in this we have two edges. So when we are projecting towards down, we will see it. So when I am projecting this point towards downwards, so it makes two places here also and another point. That means BC and LK. BC is the visible and LK is the hidden. So we have two points are on here. So here also in this point also we have two points because here O 
What is this? OC and OP are here. In this point we have OC means visible and rear side OK also. So here also we have two. That means OD and OJ. OD and OJ. So here also we have two letters OE and OI. OF and OX. Finally it is having only one edge. And OG, the last year, only one edge is there. That is OG. So here, just as, just we mark the numbering. First, give number to the visible edges. Okay, visible edges only. So here, BC is the visible. LK is the hidden edge. So BC, I name it as one as. Then here also we have two, one visible and one hidden. For visible edge, it is two as, three as, four as, five as, and six as. Then look at the hidden edges, here only one edges are there visible, but here we have two edges that is F and I, OF and Y. So OF already marked as 5, another hidden edge is 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash, 9 dash, and here also we have 10 dash. So we have 10 6 and points. Then what is this? Then we have to do the development. For what section we have to make development means the cut force, the meaning force. So here we draw a line, draw it here. So we need to develop only this part. Cut and develop these two parts. Then how to develop? So do the development of cone. For development of cone, somewhat different. In a different area, in a curved surface. In a curved surface. So, in a true slant length, we have true slant length. Premier one goes to true length. We have to study true length. Okay, true length. We will study this true slant length. So, true slant length is the same. True length is the same. This is the same. Top view length, x y length parallel to the other front view, true length. Here is the other one, any one x. So here, any one x. Here, o g and o a are parallel to x y length. So our last diagram, o g and o a are true length. So here, what is the true length? True length, we will not be able to start on the true length. Because other than that, inclined are. Medium length just all are inclined are. O A U O G matra na inna variety. X Y length parallel are. So O dash D dash G dash under true length are coming. Or then are O A U O dash D dash under true length are coming. So now we are under true length are measure pane. What is the true length means? What is the true length means? So here we can mark measure this distance also. So what is this distance? So this is true length, right? Yes. So this distance is TL, true length, is equal to the measure of the distance 36. So we can measure the true length over here. Okay. True length, we can able to measure it. Only then we get that length. Then the main one will be one edge. The length of the muscle will be the value is 76 millimeter. So true length of the 76 millimeter. Radius of the circle. Diameter 60, radius 30. So 30 by 76 into 360, you will get to an angle 142.1 degree. So if you end the degree, you will develop the degree. So we 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 will develop the degree. First, what we are doing is true length of the same way. We are doing the same way. We are doing the same way. True length is the same way. We are doing the same way. We are going to measure the same way. This is true length. So here, what we are doing is the same way. The same way is the same way. So, we are doing the same way. Keep one center and draw one. Draw one arc. Okay, two length. Then from the center, I mark one edge. So 
So listen, this said this, this blank this. This is our true length equal to 76. 76 has a draw on this. Or not. Then this angle, what's angle means? 142.1 degree. So near about it, we can take it as 142 degrees. Okay, 142 degrees. So keep the protractor here. Okay, here we keep the protractor. As are this, 0, 142 degrees. So remaining length, no need to reach. What the angle means? The angle is theta is equal to 242 degrees. So we mark the angle. So 242 degrees. So it is 142 degrees, isn't it? 142, 142 degrees. So the angle is 142. Okay. That we measure as theta is equal to 142 degrees. Then, so here we divide the number 12 segments are the right We have A, B, C, D, 12 edges. We have 12 edges. We have to divide it. How to divide it? So, the divide it. We have to divide it. We have to divide 142 divided by 12. We will get one value. And the degree which we can divide. So, how much fractions are there? So, we have to divide it. We have to divide it. Just 142. So, we divide this. 142 divided by 2 means first divided into 2 segments. 142 means 71 degree, isn't it? 70, 71 degree. First divided into 2 segments. Then here 2. Okay. 71 divided by 2, 35. So another angle we get is. Thirty-five degree. So here also we can make thirty-five degrees. Okay, thirty-five degrees. So now we divide into four segments. One, two, three, four segments. Then divide into three, three, threes. Divide these into three segments. So for that, just measure one radius here. This distance. Measure this distance here. Okay. Then cut. So continuously we can able to cut the also. One, two. Okay, the points are here and cut here. O, A. A. This is O, B, C, D. L, once again, A will come. Right? 
where we have to mark the section points. How the section points means? So very careful that we have to measure all the measurement from true length line, isn't it? We have to take measure all the measurements from true length line. Okay. Just we transfer all this draw as and the length from here. Okay, from this point. So this is two dash and nine dash. So two double dash and nine double dash. So like this, we transfer all the points towards two length line. Draw horizontal lines. So this is three double dash and eight double dash. Four double dash and six double dash. Five double dash. 4 and 7 dash, 5 double dash and 6 double dash. So we transfer all the points to the true length line. Then from the true length only we have to take the measurements. So okay, just I start. First the point 1. 1 is in the base, is it? 1 and 10 are in the base. So I mark the, so I project towards the base, then measure the distance VC from the base only we have to take the measurement. Base like the measurement. So in the base like that one, then the base like that one. Base like the B to C is our part, right? So on the B to C mark one, right? So this point is our. So this point is our one. Then ten also like that. Ten I measure from L to K, isn't it? I measure from L to K. L to K. This distance is 10. So I mark 1 and 10. So remaining I measure from here. I measure from here. What's the distance? 0 to 2 less. 0 to 2 less. Or to 2 less. 2 is in C, isn't it? C. O C. So here one point. Okay. So here we have 0 to 2 and 2 and 9. So 9 is in K. Okay. So this point is 9. So these two points are 2 and 9. Then come on another 3 and 8. O to 3 and 8. 3 and 8 is in 3 and 8 is in OJ and OD. 3 and 8. So this is OD and this is OJ. 3 and 8. So next 4 7, 4 dash, 7 dash, take measurement from true length. So room point. 4 and 7. And last 5 and 6. 5 and 6. And the last point is 5 dash, 6 dash. This is 6. So this point may be 7, 8, 9. You know how many points? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 points we have. So this is our 10. So this point is 11 only. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And finally we have 11 also. 11 points we have. So now we mark this in the smooth 20.
inclined curve the line okay draw one smooth curve line that's all then we have another section also there so measure from the true length line and draw an arm okay this is parallel no need of extra things take your own curve edge here also we have a curve edge darken this here also we dark that's all right so here cone cone is cone only curved edge for cone and cylinder only curved edge pyramid and prism everything have straight edges here only curved edge 